300, Rise of an Empire, 3D short move view. Taking place concurrently with 300, this shows Themistocles, the Athenian general, trying to hold the Persian invaders at bay, quite literally keep them from getting close enough to Greece to come ashore. And along the way we will also see how Xerxes came to be god-king, what took place at the Battle of Marathon, which happened ten years before, and this does also continue some past the ending of the main story of 300, but that's thankfully about it because it was already messy and chronologically confusing enough as it is. While this does mostly just follow a linear chronology, it is very much... There, there are a couple of really tall leaps along the way, and frankly, the Battle of Marathon did not need to be in this at all. This does... This does not do a ton to justify its very existence, as the first one really did not need a sequel, and certainly this hasn't really... This doesn't really introduce anything that makes... That, that changes that, where, where the first had certain morals and a significant historical kind of impact. This one is kind of just a couple more battles from the same overall war and it, it touts of a united Greece and a defeat of the Persian invaders, but it doesn't fully... It, it feels like these are just buzzwords in order to make it sound like there's something more than just, you know, preventing them from invading Greece, which is an understandable goal, but also doesn't really make for an exciting action epic. You, you really want something more to be at stake. Now, this does have great action. It isn't hampered by the frame-by-frame -frame slavish adaptation that the first one did, in part because this is not an adaptation at all. And in fact, it strays so much from the whole comic book thing that you might not even be able to tell. If you go into this not knowing there's a comic, for the first movie anyway, you probably won't really be able to tell. It's also grittier with still being over the top and ridiculously violent, but it does really help make the action scene scenes feel much more dynamic and free. Speaking of dynamics, whilst the new characters are pretty forgettable, possibly even more so than those of the first, one thing does really stand out, and it is, of course, as others have said, Ava Green, as Artemisia, the bloodthirsty, insane general from for Xerxes, who was a Greek until she was so violently betrayed by Greeks, and she has this love-hate relationship with the Athenian naval general Themistocles, because while she's enjoying having this power behind her, finally, taking out countries for Persia is kind of boring, because they're such a vast empire, no one can really put up a fight, but Themistocles, he just might be able to. The film is worth watching in theaters, but the 3D is negligible. If you like this review and want more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.